Hi, welcome back to the show. Wouldn't it be nice on the days when you could not get to the ocean, someone would bring the ocean to you? Well, that's exactly what's happening on the Big Island with Lane Luna and the Hilo Discovery Center. If you ever travel to the Big Island and go to Hilo, don't miss the opportunity to come here at the NOAA Discovery Center. Jeff Kuwabara, is that right? That's right. Jeff, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ben. Tell me about this place. I mean, I know a good friend of mine, Lane Luna, has a lot of neat artwork in here, which we've got to look at later, but oh, definitely. what is this center about? Well, this, this center, it's called Mokupa Papa Discovery Center for Hawaii's Remote Coral Reefs. It's a long name. Uh, it's really an interactive museum to teach people about the northwestern Hawaiian islands. Oh, this is really neat, man. The kids must go crazy when they come in here. Yeah, they love this place. And we have sharks hanging from the ceiling and eels inside a reef. We have all kinds of fun stuff. It's really interactive. So this is the beginning of the tour? This is the beginning of the tour. And it looks very small from our storefront. But then it opens up into a bigger, a bigger center. And then there are rooms off to the sides with all oh. kinds of interactive displays. Let's so, go. Yeah. So we got an aquarium. We do. This is a 2,500 gallon aquarium. And it's got a fish representative of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, you probably recognize all these fishes in here. Uh, the table corals you probably don't recognize. They're found throughout the Pacific, but they're not found in the main Hawaiian Islands. And they are found at French Frigate Shoals mm -hmm. up in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. So another interesting fact is that these are all molded. They're all fake corals. So they're not, not alive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they did a really good job, and they look like the real things. What is this exhibit? This is a mock-up of the Pisces Research Submersible operated out of the University of Hawaii um, in conjunction with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And this is actually about three times as big as the actual one, but uh, it's designed to be fun and give kids a sense of what it's like to be in a submersible. We have working robot arms through this window uh, with a hand at the end of it, and each of these five buttons represents a finger. So you maneuver the claw into place and try to pick up the toys that we have in there, and um, then you grasp it and pick it up. And when the kids come back here, we lose them for hours. Your friend uh, Lane Luna, our friend Lane Luna, uh, made this mural, and it was actually, he, he did a small painting, and it was digitally enlarged to make this wall-sized mural. Lane's been busy. Yes, Awesome he has. work. I mean, well, this is somebody you got to meet. Lane, how you doing? Hi, Ben. Lane Luna from Hilo, Hawaii, huh? We've had a chance to visit before, and so many of the, the really cool things that we're looking in here are your creations. It's called fish molding? It's called uh, reproduction, fish reproduction. Nowadays, what we do is we take the real fish and we do a molding of this fish. Well, your work is awesome. I mean, and that doesn't come overnight. Thank How you. long have you been doing this? I've been doing this um, practically all my life, but the molding <laughs> for, um, I, I guess, since 1995. Okay. Now, t tell me the process. If I brought a fish in to you, you're going to take a, a cast of it, make a mold, and then you finish the fish with the, the airbrush right. artistry that you've yes, been able, yes. able to develop uh -huh. over the years. That's the special part of doing the fish mount and what really captures the realism is the airbrushing and trying to make things lifelike. Uh -huh. So that's a challenge in itself. Let's go take a look at some of your work around here. Sure, let's go. Hey, Lane, this is one impressive fish molding job. You've got a, a trio of a coolie about to be devoured by an olua. Tell me about this exhibit. Well, this ulua was uh, sent to me by a fisherman from Maui, whose name is Bryce Hanada. It's a 114 pound ulua, and it's uh, ready to gulp down three akuli that I caught off of the point at Wainaku Mill one night. There's nothing of the real ulua, the real body of the ulua on this mound. Even the teeth are cast from uh, the real ulua teeth. What's this about? Well, this is Acropora. It's uh, not the real thing, but what I did was I took a piece of table coral, a single piece, and what I did was I molded it with silicone and I reproduced it to uh, this big piece here. So it looks like something you would see up at the Northern Hawaiian chain underwater. Uh, it looks like the real thing, man. Oh, thank you. Jeff was telling me that uh, because this exhibit is so low profile, a lot of the adults miss the fact that you've got a moray eel tucked in here. And yes. it's always the kids that go crazy when they see it. Yeah, it's hidden in there, but that's an eel I caught one day while ulua fishing. And uh, it came up and bit my taco bait. And um, 
the rest is history. We have him here in the museum. I took a molding of him and uh, he's here and it seems to be the attraction for the little children who are right at eye level with that, that puhi. Yeah, this is a green sea turtle, which um, it's a reproduction. It's all made out of fiberglass and it came out of a five piece mold. Uh, the shell was molded separately from the body. And um, what's really special about this is that the color is all done through airbrushing and um, layering the, the turtle shell color, the color of the scales. The eyes are glass eyes that are painted from the back uh, to get it look three-dimensional. So when you look at it, there's a little bit of um, green here, which is the, the limu, which kind of grows on the turtle. And the only thing this needs is some barnacles here, but we'll <laughs> save that for later. Hey, Lane, tell me about this guy. He's big. It's uh, supposed to be a 600-pound manta. The funny thing about this, I, I was telling people that, um, you know how when you paint yourself into a corner? <laughs> yeah. Well, what I did was I painted, I worked this one into the bottom of my studio. And when I realized it, I could not, this thing could not fit through my doorway. Then I was in trouble. And oh, no. Did that happen? It really happened. And it was uh, finished and it was too big to get out of the room you made it in? Yes. <laughs> I had to cut the post of my door because no way was I going to cut the manta, you know, after working on it for so long and, um, you know, completing it, you know, I'd rather cut my house than the manta. <laughs> hey, Jeff, we'll try to get as many people as we can to know about this place. No admission, free of charge, and not enough people know it, know about it. Hey, Lane, nice work on all the, all the, the pretty it. things in here. Uh, we always enjoy looking at your work. And I'm sure I'm going to be able to come back to the Big Island and you got to show me the other things you've got out there. I will. Okay. Right on. You folks, don't go away. There's a lot more of the fishing show coming your way right after you catch this.